This beautiful plumose anemone is not a plant as its name suggests, but an animal. A member of the Cnidaria phylum, which are bound by the geothermal chimneys in Eofjord of the Fjord. And this is a northern red anemone, also a type of sea anemone. Hormathia digitat likes to attach itself to a conch, for example like the one this hermit crab has made his home. Symbiosis, everybody happy. The sea anemone gets a free ride and the crab or shellfish eats the bits and pieces that fall from his dinner table. In return the shellfish gets a built-in bodyguard. Here we see a plumose anemone on the column, as well as a lion's mane jellyfish's arms that have got tangled there. All Nidaria are predators with poisonous stinging cells on their tentacles and it's as well to give them a wide berth and avoid touching them with bare hands. A colourful scene with lumpfish and plumose anemone. The hairy creatures on the columns to the right of the lumpfish are colonial hydrozoans. There are four groups within Nidarians. Sea anemones, hydrozoans, corals and jellyfish. Most Cnidaria are polymorphic and go through two stages in their life, polyp and medusa. Sea anemone and hydrozoa are mostly found in the polyp stage, jellyfish in the medusa stage. The pink creature is a flower head polyp. It's also a hydrozoa. In the background colonial hydrozoa communities can be observed. Here we see more colonies of hydrozoans on a seaweed branch, though it's difficult to distinguish the species. Cnidarians reproduce both with sexual reproduction and by so-called reproductive polyps that grow out of the mother animal. Here we see many nudibranchs, which are a species of sea snail. Their main diet is hydrozoans, which they eat despite them being poisonous to most other sea creatures. The lion's main jellyfish is well known to beachcombers as a blob of jelly in the sand, but in the sea it's quite spectacular. The geothermal columns are covered in seaweed in many places, as well as hydrozoans and sea anemones. An exotic site for most of us, yet surprisingly near the surface and close to land.